spoke a word you were singing over me you have been so so good to me before i took a breath you breathed your life in me oh you have been so so kind to me Boom, boom, boom. Um, small, what's that? Water. Hose, small hose. Little pump. Tiger Woods, right? Because it's Tiger and Woods. Tiger Woods? Yeah. Oh. Free. Oh, free. We win. Oh, oh, free. Ah. Oh. Great. Great. Okay, that was an easy one. Nice. Right. So, uh, what's that? What even is that? Plugs on off. Go right now, man. Gordon Ramsay. Good on them. Elijah Stump? Elijah. Elijah. Elijah Wood. Oh. 
spoon. Louis spoon. Louis with a spoon. Just about got it. Mm -hmm. Carol. I'm gonna say Carol Baskin because it's Carol Batskin. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Britain. What is that? Spear, Britney, Britney Spears. Tory ship. Tory ship? No. Tory. Terry Crews. Ah. Oh. Ali Shark Key. Alicia Keys. Yay. Weight carry, heavy carry. Uh. <laughs> uh, bird coal, bird cart, blue jay coal. I, I'm counting that. I'm counting that. Hello. Guess who it is again? AKA Uncle Ray. Yes, I'm claiming it now. Thanks, Dammy. Can't take it back. It's now in the internet. So what? Uh, yep. Yeah. AKA Uncle Ray's in the house. Wow. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Hmm. How have you guys been? Oh, actually, I can't remember the last time I did this. But anyway, I guess I've got the privilege to always host to check up on you guys. Um but yeah, how have you guys been keeping? Second lockdown. But to be honest, I guess it becomes a norm now, right? Because I guess we've learned from our first um, encounter. But nonetheless, I hope you guys are well. Um, hope you guys are looking after yourself, your friends, your family. Um, what's new, you know? As I said, I haven't seen you guys or interact with you guys for, for a while so what's new tell me what's new you know um, for me um, as you probably see um, different location um, I've now officially turned one of the rooms into my office um, so I'm working from home permanently now um, what else well-being it's a big 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 thing within my workplace um, and so part of that what I try to do is minimum two 10k um, in a week, uh, just to keep the heart ticking, um, keep the mind refreshed. Uh, I enjoy doing it, to be honest. I know a lot of people are like, oh, running this, running that, but I guess for me, that's one of the things that um, I enjoy doing, where it's just me and God, me and my thoughts, me and just the Holy Spirit, just having a conversation and just thanking him and just being so thankful of what he's done in my life and what he's got in store for me so but yeah that's 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 what I've been up to anyway but you know so as usual hey it's Fuse it's Friday so let's get into it um, so firstly we know what we need to do we need to share we need to let people know Fuse MK as usual so come on let's start hashtagging let's start sharing that um, we'll have a fantastic service um, lined up for you guys today but on a sad note it's the last one yeah I know but you guys have a privilege of me hosting as usual not that I'm trying to say other leaders don't do it as I do you know and all that but it's realistic to the extent that I've been openly call myself Uncle Ray so you guys at least give me that props please I deserve that right but yeah um, so yeah so this is the last views um, but we've got something even bigger to look forward to um, in a week in a week and a half and that's a Christmas party so I hope you guys have signed up for that um, it's gonna be great I've seen the little snips um, but yeah. so look forward to that um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. Correct, so let's join, let's focus as usual because it's now it's time to 
listen to the word and let the word um, sink into our heart. So let's get it started. See you guys soon. Hi, Bees. Um, I'm Tammy, and today we're going to be playing the one star review challenge. So this is a game where there's going to be a real one star review from a product on Amazon and we have to guess what the product is. So if you think you know what the product is, then comment down below in the chat and we'll see if you're right. So let's go on to the first uh, review. Okay, so the first review is, I can literally whistle louder with my mouth, terrible product. So if you think you know what this one is, then comment down below. Um, but I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, just a bit. So, what could it be? Okay, so personally, I think this is a whistle because well, what else could it be? But let's check. It's a whistle. Okay, so if you got that, pat on the back. And let's move on to the next one. So the next one is great product, but it didn't come with a HDMI cable. Oh, this was actually a bit hard. So if you think you know what this one is? Comment down in the chat. What could this one be actually? Hmm. So I'm thinking this is kind of like a games console because they plug in with the HDMI cable onto a TV. But you know, I could always be wrong. Okay, so let's see what it is. A squirrel hand puppet. Right. But why would you need a HDMI cable for it? Hand puppet. But maybe that maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Okay. So have you got that right? So good. So next review. It was flat when I got it. This could be numerous things, so kind of hard. But if you know what the answer is, comment down below. Hmm, we can think this through together. Hmm. Okay, so my my thought process here is that it's gonna be something that probably is replaceable. And they just didn't know that it came not inflated. So I'm going to say a beach volleyball. So let's see what the answer is. Oh, okay. A football, soccer ball, football, football. So yeah, I was close. I was close. Okay. Got the correct answer. Good for you. So let's move on. Wow. This is, this is a paragraph. Okay. <laughs> we took this to the beach and after two hours of pumping it, the wind picked up and sent it hurtling down the beach at hundred miles per hour. Children screamed in terror at the giant inflatable monster that crushed their sandcastles. Okay, bit extreme, but um, I have actually no idea what this is. So if any of you could tell me in the comments, that would be great. So, why would it be so, what would be so big that you would order off of Amazon? That's just strange. Okay, like I've said, I have no idea what this answer is. So let's just look at it together. A giant inflatable beach ball. That, that seems reasonable. But why would you need a giant inflatable beach ball is what, is what I, is what per personally, personally, why would you need a giant inflatable beach ball when we have perfectly sized ones that wouldn't, you know, run away and crush children, crush children's sandcastles. Okay, next one. It's not big enough to completely cover a horse's head and it doesn't provide enough airflow for them either. What? <laughs> um, bit random, but uh, if you have any idea what this is, comment it down below. I, I, I'm just confused. Why, why, why are we talking about horses? <laughs> um, <laughs> just... Why are we putting things on horses' heads? It's just uh, confusing to me. But um, let's just see what the answer is. Um, so the answer is a horse mask. Right. So I think this person didn't think, thought that a horse mask was actually meant to go on a horse and not be a mask for humans of a horse's head. 
Okay, so next review. After reading the description, I realized that there just wasn't enough screwdrivers and also, also very disappointed I can't eat my cereal with it after clipping my nails. <laughs> Those two sentences don't correlate with each other. So, I am going to say that this is a nail cutter? Nail cutter. I'm going to say it's a nail cutter, but let's see what the actual answer is. Right, a giant army, a giant Swiss army knife. Right, um, don't know why you would eat cereal with a giant Swiss army knife when the spoons are right there, but I guess this is what some people love to do. Next question. So this one says, useless, just useless. Just a flimsy piece, piece of plastic. Flimsy piece of plastic. Flimsy piece of plastic. <laughs> That could literally be every, anything, but all right. But let's see what the answer is. It's a banana slice. I mean, I guess it is a flimsy piece of plastic, but I mean, you got probably what you paid for and the knife's all right there. But anyway, if you got that right, well done. And Next question. This is without a doubt the worst pet I have ever owned. It's disobedient. It never comes when I call it. Even when I offer it a treat, it refuses to eat and can't do a single trick. Now, if this is an actual animal, why are we buying it off of Amazon? Okay, so I think it's probably gonna be some kind of robot animal you know like those robot animals you can get these days maybe it's one of those um but let's just see the answer right um <laughs> moving on <laughs> not milk oh gosh okay so the next one the next one is these smell toxic that kind of spray paint chemical toxic smell that is strong and overpowering. They're amazing looking, but it will make you dizzy from the fumes. Okay, so comment down below what you think these are. Paint? I, I don't know. It's the only one that makes sense to me, but um, judging from the last question, I don't think these are actually meant to make much sense. Um, let's <laughs> look at the answer. Giant lobster claws. So are these real or are these fake? And either way, why? Oh, first of all, why is it on Amazon in the first place? Second of all, why are people buying this? Right. <laughs> Right, okay, next question. <laughs> Too salty. Too salty, that, that's it. So, comment down below what you think this could be. Too salty. So, so, I think that this is probably some kind of crisps or like, snack like savory snack that you could probably get on amazon but could be wrong so let's see what the answer is salt it's it's salt it's salt someone was surprised that salt was salty love love that love that um so if you got that correct well, well done so this one this is the last question so, um, last one. Uh, so this one says, not long after eating about 20 of these, I had gastrointestinal experience like nothing I've ever imagined. Cramps, sweating, bloating beyond my worst nightmare. I couldn't stay in one room for fearing of succumbing to my own odors and it went on for hours. I don't even know what this could be. It's like, I think they went on a bit of a ramble, but... <laughs> Okay, so the answer for this um, 
this person's um, experience like nothing ever before, nothing they've ever imagined before is, the cause of this is Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Now, um, personally, this has never happened to me, and I don't know if this has happened to you, but um, maybe this, maybe what we should take from this is not to eat gummy bears. I guess that's the only thing we can take from it. Yeah, if you got this correct, honest, big, big achievement. Have you had fun joining me today, guessing these really weird reviews? And to be honest, if you got more than like two corrects of these, I am applauding you because I don't know what these were. <laughs> Okay, bye, bye. For the God I know is no 
Hey Fuse, I am so glad I could be with you this evening finishing off our series Headspace. And I want to just share, you know, this, I want to share a message from God's Word that I think all too often we miss. You see, so often we understand the message of sin. We understand God's love for us. We understand the message of our need for Jesus. But so often we miss the fact that the Bible is big on one another's. The Bible wants us to be there for each other, to support each other, to care for each other. And so often I think we miss that. And you know, I think the Bible is big on those things because God knows that when we are on our own, when we are alone, we are vulnerable. I want you to see how easy this piece of paper rips. We, when we're alone, we become vulnerable, we're isolated. There's no strength in that. But God packs these one another's full in the Bible and he wants us to live in community with each other. You see, the Bible tells us over 16 times to love each other. It tells us to be devoted to each other, to honor one another. The Bible tells us to build one another up, to accept one another. The Bible tells us to care for one another. It tells us to forgive one another. The Bible tells us to be kind and compassionate to one another, to speak the truth in love to one another. The Bible tells us to comfort one another and encourage one another. And the Bible tells us to pray for one another. And you see, every single time I ripped one of those pieces of paper, it just shows how vulnerable we are on our own. There's no strength when we live in isolation, in isolation, but when we live with one another, then real strength comes. Because you see, when I've got all of this, there's no way I can even begin to rip it. There is strength in one another. You see, Ecclesiastes says this, it says, two people are better than one. They get more work done together. If one person falls down, the other can help him, but it's bad for a person who is working alone if he falls. No one is there to help him. If two lie down together, they will be warm. But if one person is alone, they will not be warm. An enemy might defeat one person, but two people together can defend themselves. A rope that has three parts is strong together and hard to break. You know, one another's brings strength. And so when we create community with Infuse, we create strength in numbers and we can support and encourage one another. But what do these one another's look like for us in our friendship? Well, it's simple. I've got four key steps that I want us to remember. And they're all around the word time. Supporting others, caring for others looks like time. So the first point in time is the T and that is talk. Talk to one another. I mean, show people you care. I mean, really show them you care. It has to be, we have to make it okay for people not to be okay. You know, we ask, how are you? People say, yeah, okay, but we need to go deeper than that. We need to create a community that really cares about people. You know, I was thinking the other day, if I walked into a room with a broken arm, everybody wants to rush around me, find out what happened, ask if I'm okay, see if I'm in pain, see if I need a cushion, to rest my arm on. But if I walk into a room and say I'm sad and depressed or that I want to hurt myself, everybody goes silent. And maybe it's simple, maybe people don't know what to say and, and that's okay, but don't say nothing, say something. Why don't we say it's okay? We, you and me, together, us, one another, we will get through this. You know, this isn't some kind of new mental health awareness talk. This is God's design. In 1 Corinthians 12, Paul is talking about the different parts of the body. And he says this, God wanted the different parts to care the same for each other. If one part of the body suffers, all other parts suffer with it. Or if one part of the body is honored, all other parts are honored. Guys, take time to look around and find out who around you is suffering, who's hurting, who is feeling alone or isolated. And you know, we can ask questions, are you okay? And we might get an answer, yeah. But guys, let me encourage you, continue the conversation. If you're worried about someone, talk, ask, ask again, check in with them, make sure that they know that you care because you talking to them can make a huge difference. So the first step in time is to talk. The second step in time is I. Intentional. B 
be intentional. You know, when we are gonna be there for one another, we are gonna face times where we don't know what to say, we don't know what to do to, to help people and move them on in their journey. But if we're intentional, we can point them towards people that do know. You know, if you know someone who's self-harming or restricting what they're eating, if you know someone who's depressed or anxious or thinking about hurting themselves, you might not have the answer, but the answer is out there. And so we wanna, be really intentional about how we help our friends. And that might look like encouraging them to go to their parent or refuse leader. It might look like going to their GP. It could look like contacting Young Minds Crisis Service or even our very own HOPE team here at MKCC. All you have to do is email hope at mkcc.org.uk and there are people there who will walk this journey with you and with your friends. You know, sometimes we feel like we have to have all the answers to fix somebody, but we don't. Just simply saying, I'm here with you, I'll go with you, shows there is help and offers so much hope to someone who is struggling. You know, and if you are supporting someone who's going through a difficult time, let me encourage you also, be intentional about looking after yourself as well. Make sure that other people's struggles don't start to get you down. And if they do, again, you can talk to somebody, talk to your parents, talk to a leader, and just let, you don't have to share all the details, but just share with them that you've got a friend who's going through this hard time and it's really beginning to affect you. You must look after yourself as well. So be intentional. The third step in time is M mindful be mindful you know we know that we can't fix everything we know that we can't do everything but what we can do is we can think about people we can pray for them and we can check in with them and so i want to encourage you when you know that your friends are going through a hard time bring them to god in prayer james 5 16 says this therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective you know, if I was being completely honest with you guys, I know there have been so many times in my life when I've struggled with my own mental health. And I'll let you into a little secret. During those times, I struggle to pray. I struggle to have faith to believe that things are gonna change. And so what do we need in those times? What do we really need? We need friends who will stand with us and encourage us, but who will pray for us. We need friends that will bring us to God and ask, God to be with us and be our peace. You know, I often think of it a bit like when the Israelites were fighting the Amalekites and Moses is there with his arms raised high. And whilst his arms are high, he's winning, they're winning, the Israelites are winning the battle. But only he can't, he can't sustain that. He's tired. And so along comes Aaron and Ur and they sit him on a rock and they hold his hands up for him. You know, who can you pray for? Think about it, who in your life do you know is struggling that you can bring them before God and ask God just to be all that they need to be. So pray for your friends when they're struggling. Keep them in mind, pray for them, but also check in with them. If someone opens up to you that they're struggling, check in and make sure they're okay. Let them know that you are there because that will make a huge difference. And the fourth step in time is E encourage the bible encourages us to encourage one another and what better encouragement is there than the gospel you know jesus changes everything and so we can encourage one another with the truth that when we have jesus we have life we have hope we have a future we have a plan and we have a purpose you know without the gospel the truth is there's despair for everyone but with the gospel with jesus there is hope and so you know no matter how hopeless life feels, we need people to see that whilst they're still breathing, God is not done with them. And so we wanna tell them to see themselves as God sees them, not how they see them, see themselves how God sees them. You know, this pile of paper that we had right at the start, when it was on its own, it was so weak and so flimsy, but together it becomes something so strong. And so if you're worried about someone, check in on them. If they say they're okay, check in again and check back. Because the truth is no matter who we are or where we are in our mental health journey, the truth is we are stronger together. And I want to speak to you, maybe you're listening and you are struggling. Um, you're struggling with your thoughts, you're struggling with thoughts of hurting yourself, you're struggling with your eating, you're struggling with anxiety. Maybe you can't sleep at night because you're just worried about so many things. I want to challenge you that when somebody reaches out 
their hand to be that one another. When somebody kind of really just kind of extends their arm to show you love, to show you care, to encourage you, I wanna encourage you to take hold of that hand and let that person walk that journey with you. It doesn't matter if it's a friend or a leader, it doesn't matter who it is, your parents, just as soon as somebody reaches out their hand, take hold of their hand and let them stand with you and walk with you because we are stronger together. God wants us to live as one another's. Guys, in closing, I wanna, I wanna let you listen to a song that really helps me when I'm struggling and it helps me to take my eyes off of what's going on and helps me to fix my eyes on the truth that God's not done with me. The chorus of this says, you're the God who stays, you're the God who stays, you're the God who runs in my direction when the whole world walks away, you're the God who stands with wide open arms and you tell me nothing I have ever done will separate my heart from the God who stays. You know what, the, the truth is guys, authenticity is better than perfection. Let's hold tight to the few value of being real because when we are open, when we are honest, when we know that it's okay to be not okay, that's where we'll find true friendship and that's where we'll find real community and that's where life begins to get really exciting. So let's listen to this song, The God Who Stays. If I were you, I would have given up on me by now. I would have labeled me a lost cause Cause I feel just like a lost cause If I were you I would have turned around and walked away I would have labeled me beyond repair Cause I feel like I'm beyond repair Oh, but somehow you don't see me like I do Somehow you're still you're the God who stays You're the God who stays You're the one who runs in my direction When the whole world walks away You're the God who stands With wide open arms And you tell me nothing I have ever done Could separate my heart from the God Every time I thought I let you down Always thought I had to earn my way But I'm learning you don't work that way no. Cause somehow you don't see me like I do Somehow you're still here You're the God who stays You're the God who stays You're the one who runs in my direction when the whole world walks away, you're the God who stands with a wide open arms. And you tell me nothing I have ever done could separate my heart from the God who stays. My shame can't separate my guilt. Can't separate my past. 
I'm smiling because God knew the importance of one another. He knew that we needed one another because we're all part of one body that is His body, Christ. Guys, let us surrender ourselves. Let us surrender ourselves and say to our Father, Here I am. Use me. We are a fused family. And I am so grateful that I have this opportunity to share communion with you guys. It is the greatest pleasure being there. For you guys we love you we love you I hope that this message will remain in our hearts and that we could act upon it and that we know that he is God and that he is in control and that he will lift you, me and everyone up. He will uphold us with his righteous right hand. He is there for us. He is there for you. He is there for me. He loves us unconditionally. So let us be there for one another. So when you have that prompt... We all know that prompt. Someone's name drops into your spirit. Pick up the phone. Text them. Call them. What do you have to lose? You'll be amazed how God uses, uses us in situations. As we close up, I want to say thank you to those who have worked in the background to make this possible but mostly I want to thank you guys who are here every Friday because we are family it's a pleasure spending time with you guys and I hope and I look forward to spending more time with you guys but as we wrap up let us don't lose focus or sight in our calling, in our duty, our duty to one another, being there, strengthening, encouraging, being the light. So with that, I'm going to say a quick prayer. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you for you being who you are. We thank you for you being our example. We thank you for your promises and your word. We thank you that you have told us that we need one another. I pray that each one of us will be ready. We will be readily available so that you can use us as you please. Let us don't forget those who are less fortunate. Let us be sensitive to your spirit and let us act upon your prompt. Father Lord, we thank you for everything that you do in our lives because that's who you are, a good shepherd. And I pray that we continue to be there for one another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, before you go, Right? This is for all of you OGs. 
OG fuse goers who have been sticking with us through thick and thin over the past year, right? Without our ups and downs. But all you guys that keep coming back, you're always here on YouTube, you're watching, and you, 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 you're getting involved, right? We wanted to give you early access, exclusive knowledge that is not available anywhere yet. Obviously, you know, right? Next week, Friday the 18th, it's a huge Christmas party. We've got the pre-show party, six till seven on Zoom. You can sign up for that at www.mkcc.org.uk forward slash Christmas. And then we've got the main event on YouTube, half seven till nine, right? What we haven't told people is that for the first time since COVID, we have 15 spaces available, only 15, for some of you guys to come and to watch it live in the auditorium at MKCC with us and to be a part of the service, right? There's only 15 spaces. Once they're gone, they're gone. Snooze, you lose, right? This is exclusive knowledge to you guys. We wanted to give you first dips, the first ready knowledge. You get what I'm saying? To be able to like access these tickets, okay? Now I understand this isn't obviously for everyone. It'll be for some people. Some people you may decide with your family, with your parents, like actually this isn't, this isn't for me. And that's completely fine. You can watch it on YouTube, be a part of that, because to be honest, it's gonna, it'll probably be better on YouTube anyway. That's that's what it's kind of like geared for, right? But if you do want to be there in the building and you chat for your parents and they're all cool, you're going to want to sign up and you're going to want to do it quick. Now to sign up, tickets become available at 8.30 today. That's in roughly 10 minutes time, roughly. The link to sign up is in our description. Or if you can't find it, go to mkcc.org.uk forward slash fuse live okay half eight they go available 15 tickets we've got prizes giveaways a little message it's literally gonna be so much fun we can't wait we're so excited and we're really excited to have 15 of you join us right there in person so make sure you're ready at 8 30 to get signed up and to get your ticket because once they're gone they're gone like i said it's gonna be a lot of fun right see you soon bye
And I